In my quest to try and assess the differences between the true disposable single fibre EMG needle compared to the concentric facial ones that we tend to use, I thought of a number of different tests that we can try and use to assess them. So the first one is going to be a practical simulation of the needles going through a skin-like substance and I'll show you more about that in a moment, as well as taking some high definition photographs using macro photography to look at the needle tips and look at the differences between them. We all know that there are different types of skin and some people have got very hard skin like oranges and some people have got very soft skin like an apricot. Now most of the time we're dealing with the facial skin uh, and so for the most part, for most people, it's definitely going to be like an apricot. Now of course it's far from perfect but I think it's not a, a bad uh, simulation. So uh, the first needle I'm going to go with is the Ambu 30 gauge uh, facial electrode. I'm just going to just pop that in and just get a, a feel for how it penetrates through. So that's nice and silky and smooth. Uh, and you'll see here that when I flick the end of the needle, um, it's bouncing quite a bit. There's quite a bit of vibration in there, which may not be a good thing. Let's take that one out and contrast that with the true single fibre needle. So we're just going to the same area. Now that definitely feels firmer as it goes through um, and so that could either be to do with the girth of the needle itself or to do with the tip of it which we'll look in a bit more detail in a moment. So the Ambu facial is definitely easier to put through. Let's have a look now um, at a different needle system and this is the Natus uh, Tekka 30 gauge facial needle and that feels firmer than the Ambu but lighter and easier to push through than the true single fiber one and it also has this issue of uh, vibration. Now let's just do just a direct comparison between these two. That's definitely easier to push through, the uh, Ambu. And in terms of vibration, I think actually the Ambu seems to be the worst of those that I've seen so far. Let's just put it in a similar patch, give it a similar grip in there. I think definitely the Ambu has got the, the most vibration. So it's definitely the easiest to put in, uh, but it seems to have the, the most susceptibility to vibration. The third needle I'm going to be uh, having a look at is the uh, Technomed needle. So let's just pop that in a different place. Now that feels roughly similar to the Tekka one. Very, very similar. Perhaps fractionally, fractionally harder to push through. Not much in it. Yeah, a bit firmer. So, in terms of ease of pushing through, we've got the Ambu is the easiest to push through. It's got the most vibration. We then have the Tekka, um, which is the next one. And then the Technomed. Now that's interesting. So, let's just play the xylophone over here. That's got the most vibration and the hardest to push through of these standard three. Ambu is the easiest to push through, but um, it's got sort of middle vibration, and that's got fairly minimal vibration, um, but really not very much in it between all of them. So in terms of vibration, um, it's definitely that's the biggest one in terms of vibration. Perhaps also relating to the fact that it's got the greatest weight 
um, and size um, of the needle holding uh, end over there. Um, and then that's followed by the ambu and then followed by the teca. Um, and then we have the standard single fiber uh, EMG needle, which that doesn't vibrate at all. Uh, and that's a, a very simple comparison between um, four different needles. And also uh, it gives you some information as well as to uh, stability of these um, once they're actually in the skin. Of course, this is just a simulation uh, and doesn't necessarily represent reality. So I hope you find this useful. And if you do, please do continue to watch uh, the following and evolving series uh, comparing the practical application of these needles.